SBL ay lalahukan ng mga dekalibring pro teams featuring the biggest volleyball stars sa bansa at para ikwento sa atin kung ano mga dapat abangan sa reinforced conference na ito. Kasama natin ngayon ang Air Force team member na si Joy Cases, si Jovelin Prado ng Power Smashers team, ang Perlas team member na si Amy Ahumiro. Ayan, Perlas ang ano, kanilang uh, team slogan. Yes, dinemo ba? Si Eliza Eroa ng Bali Pure. Andito rin ang Pocari Sweat Star na si Melissa Gohing. At ang pambata naman ng bagong team, the Cream Line, na si Eliza Valdez. Girls, welcome to the score. Good evening. Thank you all for joining us today. Okay, malapit na malapit na magsimula ang, uh, ang bagong pangalan. Na, naninibago pa ako. It's now the PVL. Uh, of course, formerly the, the VD. Pero everyone's excited for all the teams coming out. Simula tayo kay Joy. Joy with Air Force. Uh, ilang beses na kayong munti ka nang maka-finals, iba? Kamusta yung experience sa inyo, yung maturity ng team? At uh, paano nyo ginagol na finally makaangat kayo doon? Um... Masasabi ko na lang na medyo mas nagmature yung team okay. kasi hindi lang naman din yung yung bilig noon yung naging liga namin mm -hmm. ng sama-sama kami so ngayon mas excited kami uh, kasi may mga bago din kaming mga kasama sa lineup so okay. yun Alright. Mas enjoy kami ngayon. Kamusta naman yung pagsali na iba may mga bagong teams uh, mas mahirap ba na dati mas kilala niyo yung mga kalaban niyo dagdag challenge din ba yun sa inyo? Oh naman kasi ano um, ibang pangalan din yung daladala -dala nila and yung iba nag-shuffle din eh, napunta rin mm -hmm. sa mga ibang team so nakaka-excite din. All right. Uh, let's go to Jovelin naman uh, na uh, well, first of all congratulations. Ngayon lang kita nakita after Arellanas uh, win. Congratulations. Hindi madali yung ginawa mo, uh, ginawa ninyo. Um kamusta? Kamusta yung momentum for you individually? Kamusta yung yung confidence boost niyo na nag-champion ko and now sa yung professional career? Uh, masaya po kasi hindi ko din po expected na magiging MVP po ako ganon mm -hmm. and and yeah, direct trabaho na naman po kasi yeah. namin yun eh. Yeah. Anong natutunan mo? Uh, it's very rare na in sports you can experience something like that no? na yung dehado ka tapos ang champion kayo. Anong natutunan mo sa sarili mo bilang athlete? Tapos tingin mo nakapag mature pa sa'yo na ngayon magiging you know to, to help you in your professional career pa? Um, parang mas nag mature lang po ako. Nakitulong yan. Dahil din po sa ibang teammates, mm -hmm. ganyan, natututo ako sa, sa mga ginagawa din po nila. Galing. Alright. Uh, now, Amy, uh, for the new for for us, us. <laughs> uh, tell us about your team, uh, the, this new team that, that was put together. Uh, marami na excited as he guys back together. Kamusta naman ang Perlas team? Yeah, this is a new team. It's mm -hmm. Perlas team. It's a new club team. Okay. It's basically made by athletes for athletes. Okay. So, and... Well, our name is like significant to us because we're trying to break out of our shell and also naman like the pearl be shiny and white. Mm -hmm. Ah, all right. So, <laughs> okay. What are the challenges though of being a new team? Kasi marami kayong kalaban dito na buo na yung team, solid yung teams, matagal na nagsama. How challenging is that na putting a new team together? Um, it's challenging, but it's exciting at the same time. Okay. We also have new coaching staff, mm -hmm. a coach from Thailand and Coach Jerry from UP. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting naman, to see how we gel together in the chemistry that we have. But we have some veterans, naman, like Kuya Su and mm -hmm. a lot of alumni Ateneo players. So I think this conference, we will be able to do well and hopefully perform the best that, that we can. All right, exciting stuff. Okay, uh, Eliza, the, the smaller Eliza. <laughs> um, uh, Okay, uh, for for Bali Pure, uh, we know it's a, it's a very malakas team. But for you, uh, ganda na experience mo in your collegiate career, nakapag champion ka rin sa beach. Uh, Kamo sa yung tulong na yun, yung maturity mo bilang collegiate champion and even in the playoffs in the indoor then para sa paghahanda para sa para sa professional career mo ngayon. Nakatulong po siya ng pagpapataas ng confidence mm -hmm. sa sarili and maturity sa loob ng court. Ayan. Ano ma-expect ba natin sa Bali Pure this, this conference? Kamusta ang paghahanda ninyo sa team? May mga bagong member po ng team. So, parang mahirap pa po mag-jell ngayon. Mag-jelling, okay. Ah. Ilan ba? Ilan ba yung bagong members ng team? Ninyo? Halos lahat po. Halos lahat. So, may major, major, major revamp ito. Apo. Oh, okay, so makikita natin exciting yan yung pagbuo ng bagong... Uh, chemistry na Bali Pure. Up. All right, exciting. Okay, and then the defending champions, of course, from Pukari Sweat. Uh, it's not easy to continue winning, Melissa. Yes. No? Everybody has that target on your back. 
Kamusta yung yung uh, goal niyo to continue that winning streak and to continue that winning tradition ika nga? Well, I always remind the girls, you know, let's be um to always be humble okay. and then to bring that confidence from our um past championship mm -hmm. but dapat every day is always an opportunity to learn something new right, right. to get better mm -hmm. to get better every training dapat syempre being a champion sobrang um sobrang kailangan maghirap ka lalo mm -hmm. if you if you want to continue the legacy right. kailangan paghirapan namin we should work harder we got to be smarter mm -hmm. in the next season so like sila na remind you're missing some key pieces of course uh, some have moved on kamusta yun kamusta yung adjustment uh, na medyo natamaan yung core niyo we had the team building and okay. everybody opened up and mm -hmm. um it's the same. Okay. The thing is, with the team, um, we have the same goal, everybody, and that's what matters. Okay. All right. Well, best of luck. We'll be excited Thank to see you. you guys try to defend the title. And then, ang, uh, nag ang balik bayan. <laughs> okay. Eliza Valdez, welcome back. Uh, first of all, tell us about this new team, uh, Creamline. Uh, anong maasahan ng uh, inyong mga fans sa inyong pagbuo ng bagong team ito? Yeah, and I think most uh, Perlas, Bali Pure, and our team, mm -hmm kami yung very new talaga okay. na mga teams dito na papasok sa PVL mm -hmm. and uh, we're just really happy to be part of a family mm -hmm. and siguro more than anything gusto lang din namin na ma mapakita din sa mga tao na nadagdagan tayo ng mga talents dito sa PVL mm -hmm. from NCAA from UAP right, na yeah. mga stars and syempre this coming reinforced na na, na conference makikita din nila yung uh, galing ng mga imports na kinuha namin Ooh. from different places. So, right. ayun, we're just really, ako sa Creamline, I'm just really happy to be part of the Creamline family. Uh, speaking of imports, you you were kind of an import as well nung pumunta ka ng Thailand. Kamo sa experience yun? Uh, anong mga natutunan mo as a player and, and how has it helped you mature as well from your experience there? I think more than anything, I learned to eat Thai food. <laughs> <laughs> Anong masarap doon? Alamata ni Larry yun. Oh, masarap mango doon. sticky rice. No. Mango sticky rice. <laughs> <laughs> Pero definitely, siguro, uh, I really witnessed a lot of uh, amazing players, okay. uh, legends in, 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 in volleyball mm -hmm. na nakapaglaro na sa mga qualifiers ng Olympics. So, mm -hmm. that is just really a solid inspiration and motivation for me mm -hmm. para mag, mag pursue pa and to push myself pa na to be a better volleyball player and siguro being alone also in Thailand in the yung challenge also for me to be a, a stronger individual uh, inside and outside of the court as well. Right. Pero malaking tulong yung mango sticky rice. Yes, <laughs> mango so, sticky rice. Tuloy ako. Okay. Uh, speaking of reinforced conference, Amy, I want to bring this back to you a bit. How's uh, yung experience of being with you know foreign imports and foreign players? How does that help? Uh, well, one, boost the team's uh, competitiveness on the court, but as well, development of the local players and learning from them as well. I think it's all, like, it helps also, but it, we have to adjust but then to them because they're coming from different systems and right. we have a system here and they have mm -hmm. their system here. Mm -hmm. So we both, I think they learn of us and we learn of them talaga. Okay. And it's just, they give more experience and more yeah. insight to the game, which mm -hmm. is good here because it's always good to get different perspectives naman. And from there, we try to mesh naman what they bring and mm -hmm. what we bring. And hopefully we can, you know, bring it, bring it, bring it bigger, right. and do something bigger, and perform like in perform higher. Melissa, as a veteran, then, kamo sa yung experience in playing with imports um, when they come in and they bring in so much experience and size as well. No, how does the game change for you guys kapag nandun sila? The good thing about having imports is they inspire us as well. Okay. They want they raise the bar of of the competition in mm -hmm. the league and then kung ikaw local ka you'll be against with imports. Mm -hmm. So about much a challenge you're going to challenge yourself. Oh, oh like for me as a libero, oh kailangan maputo ko to, kailangan right. makuha yeah. ko to. Oh. It gives me confidence as well. Mm -hmm. So sobrang perfect that the na nauna yung reinforcement conference of mm -hmm. all Filipino. Okay. So it gives mm -hmm. it gives it boosts the confidence of the yeah. local players to the all Filipino, so mm -hmm. lang tataas yung competition. And then, it's really inspiring to have imports and they share us their stories because mm -hmm. imports also go around the world. That's so right. they share their experiences. Yeah, oh. So it's very inspiring. Mm -hmm. Eliza, lastly, tanong kita, sa mga nak nakasama mo na imports and from your friend from other imports, anong masasabi nila about Philippine volleyball? Uh, what is their comment about the, the, the current state of volleyball, the fan base, everything, all that? Put I think they're, they're really... Uh, Siguro, it's shocking for them to see a lot of play, a lot of uh, Filipinos 
are watching volleyball and supporting mm -hmm. all the ladies sa, sa, in terms of... Because uh, they know that basketball is one of the most popular sports yeah. here in the Philippines. But they're sila pag they encounter people in the street. And they're mm -hmm. picture din sila And they really love it because they appreciate nila yung sport, yung mga imports. But I think more than... Uh, playing here in the Philippines and sharing all the things that they, they know about volleyball and mm -hmm. sharing all the knowledge they know. They really enjoy it here because Philippines is really a nice place and the Philippines are very hospi right. hospitable. Mm -hmm. And that's why they keep on coming back and that's what we like so, and we want also for, for us to learn from them and we get to learn a lot from them. Talaga. All right, well, uh, I'll leave it to the defending champs. Invite the viewers. Kailan ba simula uh, ng PVL at... Uh, Anong maaabangan nila? Iniimbitan ko po lahat po ng mga volleyball fans. Yeah. Malapit na po ang PVL. At, at, at sobrang excited na po kami maglaro. Right. And I hope to see you guys. Alright, all these six teams, we're all excited to see you all. So congratulations on uh, mounting a very exciting reinforced conference. And we'll see you on the court. Salamat. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Alright. So Hi guys, keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.